everyone. Thank you for joining us. The U.S. Department of Education and Justice released joint guidelines today on how schools should treat transgender students. It's an effort to limit discrimination that's based on sex. The guidelines say that the transgender student should be allowed to use the bathroom based on the gender, gender rather they identify with. It also says parents do not need to have a mental or physical evaluation for their child to be considered transgender. These guidelines are not a law, but if followed, they could result in federal funding being pulled from schools that don't apply. WCBI Summer Rascal spoke with Lowndes County School officials to learn about how the policy will affect students and staff. She joins us now in the studio with more on that. Summer. That's right, Andrea. Now, this is not an issue that Lowndes County has had to deal with yet, but they are preparing just in case. I'm very disappointed that our country is, you know, that it, our country's leaders are even miss a trying to push something like this. Uh, that's very troubling. Lowndes County Schools Superintendent Lynn Wright can't believe the conversation about transgender bathrooms has come about. I don't think we should discriminate against anybody, but by the same token, you know, when we're making decisions based on we're afraid we're going to offend someone, so we, what we end up doing is offending a lot of people. He says in over 40 years he's worked in schools, he's never had a student come out as transgender. He says if there was, there are alternative bathrooms they can use. School board attorney Jeff Smith says, like it or not, it's something the school will have to address. Society is changing, and uh, public entities like school districts are going to have to be prepared for it. Smith says if it does come up, they will probably take it on a case by case basis. We would have to see when the situation arises, actually, I guess the facts of it. And he expects the district will have to make some decisions on transgender students at some point. We would have to, as a district, develop a policy on how you deal with gender and um, transgender or mixed gender people that want to use a, uh, a bathroom. The guidelines do require parents to fill out a form declaring their child as transgender before accommodations are made. Now, Smith says the district probably could not afford to not comply with the new guidelines because they get millions of dollars in federal funds. Andrea, back to you. All right.